beard, zippers, pythons, and hitchhikers. Today is a day that was created by the Procrastinators Club of America. Okay, sorry I'm late. National Be Late for Something Day. On September 5th in 1970, a lady named Christine McLaughlin was born in North Carolina at 3.30 a.m. exactly. Her daughter, um, Patricia, was born 21 years later. On the same day and at the same exact minute at exactly 3.30. <laughs> what about the seconds? I don't know. I, would, I wouldn't guess that they clocked that. They're usually not like, oh, we got a baby. It's they a... Are, they probably have uh, like a... They uh, have, three seconds. <laughs> they probably have like a timer, like guys just standing there like sitting and, you know, like... With a stopwatch, yeah, like, like, yes. <laughs> In 1698, Peter the Great made a tax, um, a tax on beards. <laughs> What's that? Doesn't matter. Oh my goodness, dude! We need to ditch the beards. King Peter, uh, I guess he might be considered Tsar Peter. What is he? King? Prince? Emperor? Get on with it! Anyway, he just imposed a tax on beards. No way, he dude. This seriously. is terrible. It I guess is. I have to ditch the beard. Ditch the beards. Oh no. I have an idea. Perfect, right? Yeah, maybe they won't tax you for that. Oh, that's mom. Got to go. What that? I don't know. You tell me. One, two, oh. six, eight. No. One, two. Sir? I'm going to have to ask you for your money. You have a beard. This one is drawn on. I don't care if it's drawn on or hooked on by elastic. This is outrageous! I don't care. Ah! You knock my hand off, I knock your head off! On September 5th in 1989, the world's longest zipper was completed in Sneak. Netherlands. I love that name. Sneak. It's S N E K. No, S N E E K. So it's like S N E E K. Yeah, yeah. I said that. It's not sneak around. It's like sneak, sneak around. <laughs> anyway, that was finished. It was nine thousand three hundred fifty-three feet long, and it had two million five hundred sixty-five thousand nine hundred teeth. <laughs> it's like, why would you even want a zipper that long? Like, oh, I don't like. Are they gonna just like? Put it, it. They're gonna like put it all around the United States, and then like, like if they I don't like a state. They'll unzip just like it and unzip pull it. it off. I don't like that county. I'm gonna unzip it and send it out into the ocean. <laughs> oh dear, that's kind of mean. To who? We didn't say any state. I mean, Oregon would be nice, but Oregon was our hometown. No, it wasn't. I was you... born in Louisiana. Barely. What was it called? Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> Louisiana. Okay. In 1990, Linda Walker of Michigan finally won a custody battle and got custody of a 14-foot-long python. I can just see it all play out in the courtroom, like, with Judge Judy in front. Like, Dave, I had that python since he was a baby. Like, he would wrap around my neck at night when he was, like... And the python Two sitting feet long. And now he's 14 feet and I just gotta have him. <laughs> and he's like, no, I do. Me. <laughs> mine, oh, no, we mine. Don't have 
Sorry. Right, let's, come on. On September 5th in 2002, a Norwegian reporter who was scheduled to cover a car chase found out to her surprise that the hitchhiker she had picked up was the fugitive from the car chase. <sighs> la 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 la! Okay, I'm gonna go cover the car chase. I hope it turns out to be really thrilling. <laughs> okay, um, ooh, a hitchhiker! Oh, poor guy, I should pick him up. It's so cold out here in Norwegia. I guess it'd be Norway. <laughs> okay, hi, come on in! Who do you wear fast now? Um, okay, well, I'm supposed to be Oh, not that up. way! No, that way! Uh, okay, um, you know, I'm supposed to be covering a car chase right now, but... Oh, great, a no. roadblock! No! Uh, oh, no. oh, the door! Shh! It's just a roadblock! It's okay! We'll just stop and tell them what's going on, okay? Okay. <coughs> Hi, officer! Uh, ah! Don't take me! Don't take me! I've done nothing wrong! Wait, he's the fugitive? Oh my goodness. There was like nothing suspicious about him at all. Okay. And that concludes our episode for today. Thank you so much for liking and commenting, and remember to subscribe to our channel and we'll get you more fun videos, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs>